Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and also demonstrating the Amsterdam inspired acrylic set. Hi guys, today I'm going to be creating a, uh, first of all I'm going to be playing with these acrylic set and I'm going to use all the colours I possibly can. Um, I'm going to be using Claire Fontaine paint on paper to go with this and I'm going to be using this new brush set which I've just got which is the Crafts for All 12 count premium paint brush set. Not opened yet, first time. I have opened this one, I have used some of the acrylics, they've been good, and I thought it'd be a great to do a review, and like I said, I've reviewed the paint on uh, Multi-Technics paint per before, as far as acrylics go, it can be a little bit, um, well, sometimes it becomes a bit floppy on the paper, but uh, we're going to give it a go, I'm not going to use too much paint. Also, I'm going to draw today a, using this, this set, I'm going to draw today a, like a, a design of a blueprint of some kind of flat. So, or, or a condo, or a bungalow, or a one-story building, okay, and that's how we're going to experiment today. I'm going to use a 3H pencil. So I can get it really light. So for this flat, um, I don't want it to be square. It's like my ideal flat. So I thought I'd do for fun. Um, is also uh, recommended by a friend. I'm going to draw a square to start with, but then I'm going to play with it. So here we go. Right, so I have to work out what's going to be inside this house. So uh, obviously I want to have um, at least one bedroom. I've got to have a bathroom. I'd like to have an ensuite bathroom as well, an ensuite toilet. Um, I'd like to have a nice little, um, I want it, don't want it to be square building because it, it could be boring. So some kind of entrance hall with uh, steps and things like that. That could be quite fun. Um, columns. Um, I'll well, draw it all in. Okay, so the first thing is the border of where, how the house is going to sit. So this is the square plot of land, and say I wanted to do some kind of garage feature. I've got to put the garage on first before I start, so let's put the garage here. Okay, and literally I'm going to just come up with a vague idea of how big the garage is going to be in relation to the building and that will also set the size of the car and it'll set the size of all the other rooms that go with it i'm trying to think now have i been a bit big because essentially i want to contain lots of things in this place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this garage smaller which actually will mean that the room the room well the whole building is going to be so much bigger right so let's put the garage down here So next to the garage, let's say that I didn't want a completely square building. Um, we have the garage protruding. We want some kind of uh, plant feature. So let's do a curved building.
Right, so I have pri primary cyan. But I'm going to move this along and show you on the on the screen. Here we go. Right. Primary cyan. Ultramarine. Deep green. Medium yellow. Primary yellow. Yellow ochre. Burnt umber. Vermilion. Pyrrole red, I think it is. Blue violet. Titanium white and oxide black but i've got this um cool palette i got this from the works in the uk by bold mirror and it's paper palette and i've been using it for a long time now it lasts for ages so i'm going to be using that to mix my paints so taking these out the first touch they're very soft um, I'm just seeing if any bristles come off straight away. They should be good. It's very hard to tell when you buy them online. But um, we have a small one here which I will use to start with for the lines around the house. Um, the black lines. So uh, all the black I'll get done first and get out of the way.
Okay, so now I've finished, let me do that quick review, okay? First of all, let's talk about the brushes. The brushes themselves are um, extremely good at, they haven't, I've got, I've got one brush that lost one bristle in the whole time and I, I used all the brushes except for these two on this piece. So the fact I've managed to use F, like all these brushes and not had any problem is a brilliant sign. Yes, so um, no loss of bristles at all on the brushes. That's a major step forward. It's synthetic, so vegan friendly. Um, they are very professional with the way they hold. I haven't had any problems with control um so i would completely recommend these brushes for anyone anyone at all uh, from young to old so for your benefit the count premium brush set by crafts for all is where you want to go right so then we're down to the acrylics and the acrylics were very smooth very easy to uh control um, they diluted well. They were also smooth when they were thick, so uh, non-diluted. So I would say that I was very happy with the way they performed. I've already reviewed Claire Fontaine paper before. Um, I would say on this occasion that, yes, that it is ripply, but actually it's been quite good. It's been much better than the first time I reviewed it. So all in all, um positive all round and um hope you enjoyed the video and uh i'll see you on the next video hi guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to choose one of the other videos shown above here and if you're interested in subscribing make sure you click on the bell and also like the video if you like it and leave comments as i would love to hear your thoughts and views on this video thank you